Hello, beta testers. <laughs> For those unaware, <laughs> Unity is a popular game engine that games like Pokemon Go, Among Us, and Genshin Impact use. Last night, Unity decided that soon, they're gonna charge developers money every time a user installs a game. Which is funny enough for me to repeat it another way in case you're not following me. Unity wants to charge per install. And according to the first law of modern gaming, if something can go wrong, it'll be fine. My name's Kyle, and what people call relatability, I recognize as a funny way of exposing that they're not one of us. So, if you're thinking, how does this affect me? I'm thinking the same damn thing. Please keep commenting, subscribing, and liking these videos because it's clearly helping this channel pin down and fold the legs over the algorithm. What's that? What are you saying, algorithm? Don't stop. I guess the algorithm likes my rhythm. Unity, as an engine, is over now and i can hear tim sweeney laughing in unreal engine all the way from my house that ass and titty phobic bastet well, who, who's that down there is oh uh oh it's a john Naricatiello, and he's the ceo of unity who may or may not have sold a bunch of shares right before this announcement you know i mean damn sometimes you're inside and you do a little trading and he looked those devs straight in the eyeballs and said what are you gonna do about it pay that's what they're expected to do and if you're dumb enough beta tester to allow it you know maybe the devs will pass those savings on to you so the devs rallied gamers online to give big damn <laughs> well how do i feel about it the same way that you know i felt about the erasing of beautiful women that of course nobody seems to give a shit about because i must just be some sort of coomer right i promise i am sympathetic to the indie devs plight but a lot of those devs have their agenda that they like to push and i've got a completely different type of salt and pepper brand of pushing that my pelvis wants to show you and i'm a pushin real good current ceo of unity john ricatiello used to be ceo of ea and here's the kind of shit he was saying back then then, over 10 years ago now. And substantial portion of digital revenues are microtransactions. When you are six hours into playing Battlefield and you run out of ammo in your clip and we ask you for a dollar to reload, you're really not very price sensitive at that point in time. And the reason the, the play first, pay later model works so nicely is the consumer gets engaged in a property, they might spend 10, 20, 30, 50 hours on the game. And then when they're deep into the game, they're well invested in it. We're not gouging, but we're charging. And at that point in time, the commitment can be pretty high. What, because evil and greed is new to this or any industry? John Ricky Tiki Tavi said, oh, here I go selling my shares again. <laughs> here you go, developers. Here's your new bill that I, I made. I hope you like it. And then he said, Microsoft, you will be paying for those Games Fast installs. <laughs> so as a gamer, what are we supposed to do, you know? Wow, that's crazy, you know? That's, that's the extent of it. I'm already bored talking about it. Sounds like some of what we have been passed is starting to go around you know what i mean it's starting to affect more than just us but doesn't it suck for the indie devs sure you know what i mean but imagine how bad that it's been for most of us and for how long that passionate lifelong people like us are just done and would probably wish the worst if it meant just some sort of restart anything but this because and i'm just saying after making these beds it would only be fair <laughs> For some of you to lie in them. The beautiful, appealing, and jiggly booba babes in Genshin Impact have millions downloading and probably not paying a cent. Ditto for Among Us. And indie devs are likely worried about people abusing the system. Uh, everybody should be worried about it. You know what I mean? Abuse in the traditional sense of the word. Not like somebody said something that I disagreed with on Twitter and then community notes corrected me and I'm mad. So you know how the other beers got to do nothing and then reap success because Bud Light, you know, was virtue signaling so hard it was crap in its pants. That's the situation that other engines are in right now. And as long as they just don't 
don't lose your mind don't make commercials to thrust old ladies into people's faces that are so angry at real beauty that they're physically needing to shred pictures of consenting bikini models from more successful ad campaigns than this one today's lesson a lesson i beg ass wipes not to forget is that people will gladly use an alternative until some other scandal comes up like you know maybe maybe this new engine's getting a hold of your webcams to get a real hot look at your naked dog oh, oh no but it's developers oh oh god what are you oh no oh, what are those hormones oh no oh my god <laughs> if you're a lady developer with d cups willing to prove me wrong i look forward to hearing from you but my advice is to compete my belief is that the more desperate things become, the more people will suddenly remember how to cater to the blatantly clear desires of the people willing to pay you, make a game fun, keep your gender ideology and political bullshit out of it, at least enough to not compromise what should be a sexy product because sexy applied to more than just attractive genitals, you know what I'm saying? Devs better recognize they're in a fight for people's attention and time neither of which you are effortlessly owed i'm super confused why i'm the personal army when everybody is silent when copy and paste field or what the racists are calling cotton field is a dated loading screen abortion with esg women so bland that it's like a live service in disguise just give it a few weeks i warned you that's what the creation engine is. This is an opportunity for growth indie developers. If you're not such a pussy that you can actually handle somebody telling it to you like it is, make it so that this type of thing is a learning experience. The truth is you can always tell what's what based on the reactions from certain ass wipes. So I encourage you to finally subscribe to me even and especially if you disagree because the one thing that you can rely on me to do is be honest and perspective brings education that i am literally paid to give so let's unite subscribe because in the end someone's always gotta pay the same way some of these clown developers have been paying with the time that they've wasted on a trajectory that would ever only end in a dose of reality whether you chose to swallow the pill or nah and maybe not everybody gives enough of a shit to try to wrap the pill in fucking cheese or a piece of ham for your bitch ass remember you can lead these people to water but you can't make them drink as i posted earlier it's been a while since i've seen devs so upset scoreboardless sbmm shooters ESG Saints Row, Diablo nerfed, Pronoun Starfield, Mandatory Ugly Females, Mods Banned, Embracer Fire Sale, Unity Unsustainable, Greed, Greed, Greed. Now, we supposed to pay y'all and fight for you? I believe the trans got y'all back. I may be a POC as they racistly refer to me, but... I don't exactly feel represented, but if you feel represented by me in this fruity industry, I want you to look at that subscribe button, that like thumb, and say to yourself, let me smash. It's a Linkin Park song that goes, try to give you warning, but everyone ignores me. Told you everything loud and clear, but nobody's listening. Jesus, Pink, God. <laughs> Ooh. What's going on over here? When did volleyball get so... Oh. Oh. All right. All right. All right. <laughs>